Here at Walt Disney World. Rob, how you doing today? Whatever. Rob, uh, you find yourself in Disney World on Saturday. You'll be participating in the San Augustine tournament. Uh, what are you feeling about that? Well, I'm glad I'm here at Disney World. It's the first time I've been here. Uh, for the tournament, I feel we'll do very well. We have a pretty good team coming down. Uh, we have a lot of veterans mixed in with all the youth. We have a very interesting weekend. Rob, you've become a free agent at the end of the year. Uh, do you have any, uh, you know, I mean, you've been courted by the uh, any uh, word on that? Where are you going at the end of the year? Uh, end of the year, uh, I'm just going to take the time off, uh, think about it, heal up, uh, weigh my offers, see what options I get, go for more money and a uh, better deal for myself. And, uh, as you see the castle behind us, Rob and I will spend the day in Walt Disney World. Rob, it's before the uh, tournament, but uh, before you participate in the tournament, where are you going? I'm going to Disneyland. All right. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm going to Disney World. So my, we're in Disney World now with the uh, case of Rob Hyman, uh, first base from Ray Corn. And what's your back here? Uh, Keith Jules, our cameraman. And goodbye from Bye. Disney World. Disney World. Back here at uh, Disney World, here with uh, my co-host Rob Hymick. This is Ray Coyne. In front of the Hall of Presidents, where we'll, we'll find the... Uh, uh, how many presidents are there, Rob Hymick? What do you think? Do you think they got Clinton involved in that? Clinton, I'll be Clinton. I think the last president they got is Bush. So we're going to go check out uh, Bush. Uh, Bush. Bush. So we're going to head now into the Hall of Presidents now. Rob, right, we got one more question for you. The batting average doesn't get too well this year, but your pitch has been coming around. Uh, so what's on it? Yeah, that's well. I think uh, in the offseason, We'll go back to uh, occasionally once a week, twice a week, uh, get back into swing. I've tried to change my stance a couple of times. Uh, that's kind of thrown me off. But uh, I think once the season's over and I clear my mind, I'll go back to hitting and the uh, pitching will be there. Rob, when you enter a tournament, do you concentrate, I guess, more on pitching than hitting? Than I concentrate more on pitching. My um, goal is if uh, my team gives me more than 10 runs, we'll win a game. What do you feel about this tournament coming up? This tournament, I think it'll be very well. And I think we'll. Back here at Ray Coyne, uh, Hall of Presidents. We'll be back with you later. Right, we're back here uh, live at Walt Disney World. Uh, I'm here with Rob Hymick and host Ray Coyne. We're here at, uh, this is where Rob grew up for 40 years. Uh, Rob going back to his native homeland here. Rob, how do you feel about your native homeland? I'm glad to see they moved up in the world. You know, we went from primitive next to uh, on the concrete now. Hey, uh, Rob, uh, what do you think about the new additions of Pete and Danny in this tournament? Uh, Pete and Danny, uh, Pete played with us while last tournament. I think Pete was a little nervous, so he put too much pressure on himself. I think he'll have uh, a better tournament. Uh, Danny is uh, a bona fide player. Uh, I feel he really had a little speed, uh, good defense, and I'd say another bat in the lineup. Rob, as a veteran of 11 years and seven years on tournaments, what kind of advice do you give to uh, rookies like Danny and uh, Pete? Just go out and have fun. Okay, again, we're back here at Rob's native homeland. Okay. And we'll be back, uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Another... And I'm going to make like a treat and leave.
this is the mysterious Ray on his wandering trip. Where he's going, no one knows. Give me um, um, water. I lost him. There he is. We did get shut out of. that we missed. We were supposed to be on that one, but and this pole's getting really close. And once again, there is Ray. He's been on the phone the entire day. My uncle was chip shot over some trees onto a green here. I don't know if he can do it though. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. A couple back swings. I think they're. I hit this tree. I'm the most embarrassed person in the world. The shot. Here it comes. Skulls it. It's across the green. Somewhere. Oh, wait, there it is. That's the shot. 
Let's see Rob's shot now. Rob's off in some trouble over here. Mind you, it's a 175-yard hole. He hit it about 120 yards forward, 60 yards right. He hits it, <laughs> and he hit a BB into the woods. Right here, you see these woods back here, sir? That's the woods he hit. I don't know. Where. And then we got Dan. We don't let's know let's see, Dan if Rob, see if Rob can wave to us. There we go. It looks like Shambo. That is, that is, yes, Rob Heimick. With a 75-yard drive onto an island. He's strategically playing this hole. Let's, let's move back. Let's show him the tee box. That's the tee box over there. Where? He Here. Drive a <laughs> and he hit his ball on the only island he possibly can. <laughs> Look how far away he is. As you see. There's all water, all water surrounding Rob. He's hitting it with tape. And there's our playing partner, Dan. Say wave. Oh, oh, I didn't know I was on TV. Yeah, I really appreciate you getting that shot for me so we can work at that later. Yeah. <laughs> and there's George's big grin. Let's focus in on George's big, that birthmark he has on the side of his face. I got four more. The pressure is on. He's one stroke up in the U.S. Open, 2012. The swing, overpowering. We're on the 18th hole. He just put it on the 14th. <laughs> We're in the wall. Why do you gotta tape me every time I screw up? That looked great though. That looked absolutely fantastic. Keith, you, you gotta watch that curve at the left. Uh -huh. Good. Thank you, Head. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I don't wanna fool around with you, Dan, so. And Rob, where'd that go? Right over on the right hand side of the car path. And is the car path near the fairway? No. Okay. No. And Dan, did you like that shot? Yeah, baby. It's all right. It's all right? You'll take it? Gyro, you're up to bat. Don't say that. Bottom seven, bases loaded, no outs, we need a sack fly. See that swing, everybody? See that swing? Watch that swing. That swing becomes obsolete when he actually hits the ball. Oh, see, he faking it. <laughs> were you with me on the right side? Yeah, go find a then George, where is that one? Uh, by oh. you in the sand trap. Hey, hey Gato, turn around and say hi. Hi. Dan? Hi. Say hi, Dan. Yeah, hold on, let me get it, hold on. Ray, say hi. Hey. George, say hi. Yes. Wait, James, 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 say hi.
don't swing at a pitch. Here we go. We're going to do it like a game situation here. Do not swing at a pitch that's not over the plate. Ball. Shoot. it. Fly out, left field. Go back to standing by yourself. Standing still. I don't want to cut down. No, keep going. Keep going. Hug James. Take a deep breath up there. Relax. And then swing. It. You're too tense. Smile at George. Relax. Smile. There you go. That's it. See you relax. You had a second. Take a deep breath. Just give a quick advice. It's all going to end. Like that. There you go, just like that. Relax until you get the last second. Let's take him watch back. There you go. James, you know what I'm going to do? You have to stay pretty much close to that base. So. To what? So sit, stay in that pretty much vicinity of the glove. Girlfriend, too. Don't hit a fucking fly ball. Line drive a ground ball. I know you want to swing hard because that's a natural swing, but make sure he's hitting the ball down. Line drive a ground ball. Don't hit, make, just tell yourself, I'm not hitting a fly ball. If you don't swing a bad pitch, swing it every and if the ball's short, go to right with it. Uh, you take a little something off it to get your hands into it. It's a shit pitch, you're not gonna hit in the game, but you still get the concept of hitting ground ball. <clears throat> That's the swing that you used to do all the time. It looks ugly. But that's what it looks good. That's an ugly swing, but you hit it hard and you did it right. I'm not, I'm not getting my hands are so far out. Ah! Don't. If the ball's going outside, watch your ass over there. Swing at that. You, you, you stride it, you overstride it, that's why you freaking lift it in the air. Huh? You overstride it, you went like this. Because it was short. Give me, I want one up the middle, so one more up the middle. Yeah, last two. Attack these motherfuckers. That's a hit. Use your strength, guys, use your strength. Ah. Here you go. Everything, George. I think we can do so bad. Oh, my own got like new life or something. Good luck. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, put that right to the game. That's it, that's attacking the ball. Oh, 
Oh shit. I can't I can't put it I can't put it to right center. Fuck him. Hit him in the head. No. no Crazy no. Joe Devola. Hold on. Oh shit. Right. Look at his reaction. No, nah, I'm seriously trying to go to right. Your last three swings were hits. Don't try to go to right and hit the ball up the middle like that. There we go. Who's up next? Me. Yes, that's taken care of. Three more, George. Three strikes. You hit the ball up the middle like you did that time. Did you try that? I mean, did you want to take something off it and swing up the middle? Yeah, that's what I was trying to. I was trying to shoot over his head. It was a high pitch, but it's still. See how you waited and said you didn't swing really, really hard at that. You just like that, see? That was a more aggressive, but you waited a little bit. Yeah. You're gonna naturally be a fly ball hitter, just the, your swing, so. You just gotta wait a half a second and line drive it. Feel a little better instead of shooting both it down the line, going that third, second cross up hole? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know, it looks like you were doing better. No, what do you think? You just yam me or really? No, it's not the middle. Hit me! Yeah, that's the way I set my stance. I hit you, you hit me. What about the way I set my stance? Hey, Kev. Hi, Jim. He's strong. He's strong like ox. He's strong good like ox. Shit. 
Come on, JD, let's go. How'd you do it? Let's go say hi to Gatsa. We'll get Gatsa. I was saying hi. Jimmy can't admit that he sucked this weekend. I'm the, floor. I'm the best. I'm Jimmy. Hey, Kev, how'd you do? With this red hat. Florida. Oh, fuck, why? This one's Jimmy. Florida. See, you got an all this thing. Oh, Jimmy. Exactly. How you going? Kevin is telling them, Freddy. But remember, stay down. 
that when it this counts. Zero. If you say when it counts. Loser! Okay, who's starting? One, two, three, three, four, seven. I haven't heard of that. Shit, I'm going to What did you say? Wrong. Eight, nine. Robert. When I was playing, I was going to say. Frank!
So then. <laughs> no! You're a drinking! Is it 34? Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to say 34. This guy is one, 34 is a 4. 35. 35 is 35. Holy crap. 7 times nothing. My I don't know, so you really can't bang go through. You know what you should do? God. Yeah, All right. Turn off the lights. No, it's no. scary. <laughs> turn the lights off. He's going to be in the dark. As soon as we turn the lights off, he's gone. And turn on the video camera with the spotlight on. Yes. If you don't, if you don't get lights, lights, you guys are not going to be able to sleep. Three, four. Jimmy don't like come sleep. Come on, Jimmm, Jimmy, come on. Yeah, 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 let's do that. He says the lights off. He's got to use voice recognition. His beer is just like, oh, shit. No, we know a guy like Jimmy's not gonna drink. JD, sum it up. Well, JD will drink no matter what. He's good for right. mm -hmm. But like, get up and move. Like... <laughs> no. No. Okay. no. No. Holy oh, shit. Oh, shit. You suck at this game. You're a And uh, he's just woken up from his last night Hello. episode. How you feeling today, James? A little, uh, a little off. How's your head? A little queasy. My head, my head's not bad. I just got a little bruise over here. Because uh, I was hearing that uh, last night that when you hit the, when your head hit the, to the tub, that was the hardest contact you made all weekend. It was. <laughs> how you feeling about how you feel about that, John? You think that's the most contact you made all weekend? <laughs> So how are you feeling about the tournament? You still want to play softball? Are you retiring? Commit, thinking about suicide? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to take the offseason and think about it. And uh, I'll see how I feel. What do you feel about the football league on Sunday morning? I'll play it. You're going to play it, too? Yeah. What's going to be your attitude? What if their option is to have <laughs> Russ play, and not you? And his offense is not no well, <laughs> I, I'm a team player, although the team needs to win. Yeah, but we've heard that answer many times before. Yeah. We want to hear some serious answers. Yeah, but most people don't mean it. I mean, uh, you know, they say those things, and uh, they really don't mean it. They say it. I mean it. So what are you saying? Hey. So what are you saying? Do you mean it, or are you just saying it? No, I mean it. I got to do what the team does. So what, how do you feel about the team's performance in Florida, the first time in the National or whatever the hell we were in, uh, and going 0-4? Are, are you blaming this whole situation on the hats? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell us? No, no. The hats, the hats were a key player in this, this, this situation, but you can't take all the blame. Do you think there's a possibility if you actually had somewhat of a like decent, maybe like, I don't even know. Two hits? Two hits in a tournament? We might have had a better chance of winning? Yes, or? definitely. Definitely. Oh, so you're putting some blame on yourself here. Of course. Of course. I'll take I'll take some of the blame. I won't take all the blame, but I'll take some of the blame. You sure it had nothing to do with the hats? Nah, no, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Nothing to do with the hats. That's just superstitious. And, uh, just for the record, what was your how many what'd you do with the blue hat? It's in my bag. No, what was your how'd you hit? I had one hit with the blue hat. And how many hits with the red hat? None. For the record, I think the blue hat worked better. I have more bats with the blue hat. Uh, what was your uh, opinion of the fight out in second base? I think uh, JD was justified in, in what he did. Although you know he had a he had to hold back because we couldn't afford to lose anybody in that situation. But uh, the other guy was an asshole. That was you with one hit. Would you have gone after? 
Because um, we could have taken that chance of losing you. I, I think I think I would have because you know my position could easily be filled. You know I'm not the third baseman. Uh, Russ could have came in and filled in for me and did uh, you know it it he could have played at least as good as me. He's not better. Hold on, are you are you picking? That's why you you missed the picking yesterday. Yeah, there was no ass picking yesterday. Maybe that was fun. James has returned. I, there was no picking. So my underwear wasn't pretty. <laughs> What was that again? Sorry, we didn't get that on tape. There was no picking. My underwear wasn't. Do you do you think the, the no picking it situation maybe hampered your uh, hitting ability yesterday? It could be. That very well could be. Is that it? So do you have anything? Uh, how how did you feel about sitting the fourth game? Fourth game? I didn't sit the fourth game. Third game. Is that right. the third game? All right. We're going. All right. Excuse the reporter. How do you uh, feel about sitting the third game? I didn't mind sitting. I mean, Russ went in there. You know. No one could have done any when, worse. When Russ got up to bat, were you looking for him to get a hit, or were you really like saying, "Don't get a hit, don't get a hit"? No, I'm not like that. Anything for the team to win. I wouldn't mind. I'd rather sit and have the team win than have me play and have the team lose. And Russ did just as good a job as I did in that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think the decision to have you sit and, I mean, to play the fourth game was a better sit decision? Um. Because maybe when Russ was in there, he got more hits. But he didn't get more hits. He played just as good as me, not better. <laughs> it was an equal swap. Just as good, though, you said. Yeah, it was an equal spot, so it couldn't win either way for the fourth game. So do you have anything in closing to say about this week? I think, uh... Was that the bruise on your arm? Did they think... put rubber covering on toilet seats? No <laughs> yeah. The bruise on your arm. Was that from the ball game or from the porcelain? The bruise. <laughs> the bruise! Get close up on that. No, no, Get no. Close up on that. This <laughs> here is skin discoloration that I got <laughs> when I made that miserable dive when I was playing left center field in Mitchell Field, team by five points. So you guys put me out left center, in left. I made that dive where I just like hit the ground. Six times what? Yes. 
No, because we didn't say that was. We didn't say it was the reverse on 1620. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Where the fuck was I? Let's go to video tape. You guys did not say that. Yes, we did. No, I am protesting this. So you replay the box and you got to pound three beers to protest. One. All in favor of Rob's agreement? Denied? Denied. Mm -hmm. Drink. Beat your ass. Tell your girlfriend the whole story. James, let's see your eyes this time. Okay, there's white in them. Where's JD? There he is. <laughs> JD's got his hand in his pocket. What was he doing? JD was just jerking off. He's back. Tape is almost out. And the battery's almost out. As if the Blair Witch Project it wasn't enough. It had to be the hot and golf tragedy. This is a hell of a lot more scary. Don't go to San Augustine, okay. Florida. Don't go soon. Oh, in poetry class? <laughs> Look at Hickory Duck, some shit. <laughs> oh my god. Clock short too, I think. Hi. Yeah. 